Hey, Travis, did you hear the news? No, Patrick. What's going on? Well, our number one fan has a birthday coming up soon, and I just wanted to make sure she has a really great birthday. Oh, you mean Julie? Oh, yeah, she's the best. Happy birthday, Julie. Thanks for always supporting us. Yeah, Julie, thank you. We love you, and happy birthday. Hi, Julie Mom. To piggyback off of my best friends, Travis and Patrick, just want you to know how special you are, how loved you are, and I hope that you have the best birthday. Um, I think you are one of a kind, and I seriously lucked out when it comes to moms. And I'm so thankful, and I feel so blessed to have been in your life and you a part of mine for all these years now. Um, it's hard to think back before you were even in my life, and I don't want to because I love having you as my mom. Um, you've just been so supportive and loving through every stage and every step of the good and the horrible, um, and I don't know what I'd do without you. And I don't want to find out. Um, you know, thinking back on all the memories that we have had and all the fun times and the hard times and just everything, the feeling that I get is just overwhelming love and some sense of warmth with you. And I couldn't ask for anything better. Um, you continue to just be the best and I love that you are who you are because you're very special. Um, trying to think back on some of the memories that we've had because there's been a lot of them and you know one of the top list items is definitely going to be the cruise that you and me and dad went on um i mean how could we not enjoy that time and how much fun we had and how ridiculous things were um but all all in all all of the memories that we have and that we've shared you've always made things really special for everybody and always make us feel really loved. Um, I know I speak for Patrick too in that we are so thankful for all of your love and all of your support. Um, not just his mom, but you are that way as grandma too. And I can't wait for this guy to get here so that he gets to reap all of your grandma love benefits too because it's something pretty special. Um, so I just wanna say happy birthday. I love you, you're the best. I don't know what I'd do without you. And I hope you know how truly special and loved you are because you are without a doubt the best. I love you, Julie Mom. Aloha, Julie. Um, I just want to wish you how ole laha now. Um, and I miss you very much. And maybe we can get together soon. And I hope you're doing well. And I hope you have a great birthday and a very Merry Christmas. Mele kaliki moka. And how oli makahiki ho. Love you. Happy birthday, birthday Julie. Julie. We love you. Have hope, a good one. Hope you had the best ever. Hey, Julie. Nice to see you. Hey, Julie. I hear it's your birthday. It's only appropriate that it's around Christmas. Your gift to so many. Enjoy this day and all the blessings that come with it. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, my dear friend, Julie. You're 66 years old today and you're always gonna be older than me. Uh, first of all, I have this Illinois shirt on because I'm a graduate of Missouri, Mizzou and Illinois and um, Illinois whooped Missouri in that bragging rights game last night. It was not pretty, but um, I had to wear Illinois today, so. Also, just want to share what this background is. This is a Christmas village that Dan's dad made years ago, and um, we've inherited it for a few years. And it just reminds me of the wonderful little town that we grew up and made so many fond memories and became such good friends. And we've got our church, we've got our post office, we've got our farms, we've got our homes. And uh, it just takes me back to those wonderful days that we spent together. And one of my favorite days was your birthday. And I loved it because your family always included me in on your birthday and uh, invited me for dinner. I remember the lasagna. 
And Jerry and Shirley went to so much work to make that. And it was something we never had at my house. And so I always loved coming over and getting lasagna dinner. And anyway, I, just so you know, that lasagna has become a Christmas tradition in my house. And that's what I'm going to be making tomorrow. Um, may not taste like Jerry's, but it's pretty darn good. Uh, so anyway, um, that was one of my fond memories. But the next thing was your 16th birthday. And your mom let me be a part of that great surprise that we had at the, the drugstore. And she sent me on the mission of buying you a birthday present. And of course, I went to our favorite store, Kmart, and I bought you that blue pantsuit. And I loved that blue pantsuit. And only you could look good in it because you were the skinny one. And I always wanted to be able to wear something like that. But I can still see you in that today. It was so pretty. So now I'm going to sing happy birthday. I have my typical this year, this time of year laryngitis that I always got and I'm on the uphill swing, but I couldn't send you a birthday message without singing happy birthday. So here you go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my friend. Okay, I got the call to wish somebody a happy birthday. I'm trying to be very, very mysterious. Um, I thought I might do a card reading. Okay, are you ready for the card reading for the birthday person? I'm laying down a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six of cards. <coughs> I will now do your reading. The first card, oh, you know, I want that one. Uh, second card. Ooh, I'll take that card for myself. Third card. Oh, I don't want your husband to know about that. Fourth card. I think it belongs in another deck. Fifth card. It's ugly. Sixth a card. Oh, it says, Happy birthday, a jolly, jolly, jolly. And that you're going to live a long, happy life with your husband <coughs> and your children. And you are the best a friend I ever had. I haven't had a lot of friends, but you're one of the best of friends I ever had. I love you, Julie. Happy birthday! And many more. Have you guessed who it is yet? I mean, do you know? My arm is just not long enough to do something like this, but happy birthday, Julie. You got a special son that's putting this together for you. And you are truly a good friend and a good person. And I have some really fun memories that we had during high school and after. And it kind of brings tears to my eyes to think about them. But happy birthday and enjoy your time with your family and your close friends. Love you. Bye. Greetings, Julie. I hope you are doing well. And I really hope that you get to enjoy the heck out of what your son has put together for you. You are truly one of the most kind, wonderful, giving, caring people I have ever met. And it's been a joy to have spent many hours with you, especially the time that we spent at the Boonville House getting ready to play for the festival in New Franklin and more. Um, I'm going to play for you an adaption of a song I put the music to called The Artist, written by an artist friend of mine, Michael Henderson. Not the Michael Henderson famous in Nashville, but my friend in California. It's about him, an artist, but artists come in different 
sizes, shapes, pictures, and venues. Some are painting artists, some are musical artists. Uh, I consider to you to be an artist of people and of kindness and of what we all should be to each other. So, for you, a version of the artist. You are the artist. You reach out and you grasp. Taking a hold of every cloud house with a moon. As the lizard leaps on his weary prey. You hope to capture every move. Hey, Miss Julie. I'm supposed to tell you happy birthday, but I want to say happy life. I am blessed beyond words to be your friend. Um, I just couldn't imagine my life without you in it. We've had some good and some crazy bad times in our last, I don't even want to say how many years. But I want you to know that God really gave me a gift when he introduced you to me. Uh, have a blessed and happy birthday, and I'm ready for some more crazy adventures. Love you so much. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Julie, old friend of mine. I did some calculations, and since you came when I was in the eighth grade, when most people turned 14, and I'm 64 now, that means that we've been friends for 50 years. We've done a lot together. We went to school together. We taught together. We've played music together. We've just hung out together. Lots of memories, and I cherish every one of them. We don't see each other as often anymore, but when we do get together, it's just like old times. I hope that we can get together again soon, but meanwhile, I wish you the very happiest of birthdays this year and for many more to come. Love you. Hi, Julie. We just wanted to say happy birthday. Happy birthday, Julie. We love you. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, Mom. Um, I just love you so much. Um, and thank you for just everything that you've done for me, um, especially um, calling me at least once a week. Um, just to check in with how I'm doing and uh, seeing how my day is going and how the family's going. Um, I just really appreciate that you take the time to do that um, and it helps me stop and slow down um, and connect with you and I wouldn't trade that for the world. Thank you so much, Mommy. I love you. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you come in. Um, yes, I think my favorite thing about Julie is that not only is she a fantastic uh, stepmother, but also a fabulous mother-in-law. And that's not something that's really allowed outside of Arkansas, but she pulls it off really well. Happy birthday, Julie. Happy birthday, Mom! I love you so much. Uh, I'm so happy to celebrate you today. Uh, you are just such a kind and thoughtful and generous person. And I know those are sort of platitudes we say about everybody, but like, I really mean it with you. Uh, you are just so thoughtful. And growing up having you as a mom, I, I was just super privileged. Um, you've always made me feel so loved and liked and seen and appreciated and celebrated and that's big and it's a very rare quality to find in a person and i just hit the mom jackpot so thank you for all your uh, love and support over the years um, it's it's hard to pick a specific memory to share for this video but i think the fact that you and i have always shared such a beautiful bond over music is something so special um, you taught me how to play guitar. Uh, we did youth choir and played 
uh, weddings and funerals and everything in between. And you were my first bandmate. And we just have such a rich history with music and as listeners and dancing to music in our home. And it's just such a, a really special thing to share. And it's cool that in my life, music has been kind of this gateway for me to like make friends and travel and kind of figure out who I am as a person. And I can't imagine my life without it. And it's, it's really cool because you talk a lot over the years about planting seeds with people who are around you. And uh, it's just so cool that you planted the music seed in me. And it, it's been this really beautiful and huge part of my life. So thank you for that. Um, you're also just such a great, great grandma to these kids and to all your grandkids. And you've always been so involved in your grandkids' lives and like driving long distances and staying up late and just going the extra mile all the time. It's crazy and so thoughtful. And yeah, I don't know, you just have such a good heart. Um, I love you and I hope that on this very special day, you feel the love from all your people because we all love you so much. Um, I hope you have a great birthday. Bye, Mom. Happy birthday, Julie Mama. I love you so much. I have this weird thing that happened to me once I became a mom where I can be with somebody and think about like everything that it took for them to be here right now. Like, I think about you and I think about your mom holding you close when you were a little baby. And I think about your dad like helping you take your first steps and you running around the yard with your brothers and sisters and growing up and becoming the woman you are today and what a amazing woman you are and all of these memories and everything that makes you who you are is present with you right now which is this ordinary but miraculous thing it's so magical and I was also thinking about the quote from Maya Angelou, and she talks about how people don't remember what you say, they don't remember what you do, but they remember how you make them feel. And I think about you and how your presence is just this warm, safe, loving, generous presence. And it's um, really special to be around you and to be with you. And I want you to know that I see you and I'm so grateful for you that you've been um, a mother figure in my life for so long. I'm so lucky. And thinking about when you first held Julian, you and Papa, and the love that was in your eyes for him, and then Hallie seemed to follow, and understanding that love of a grandparent for the first time and what it means for my kids is just the most incredible thing. I could not be more grateful that you are in their lives and in our lives and for all that you give and for all that you are. Just for who you are. I love you so much, Julie Mama. Have a happy beautiful, wonderful birthday filled with all the things you love. I don't think there's a need to say anything else. I love you with all my heart, Julie. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Julie. I love you so, so much. And I'm so thankful that you were able to come into our lives and I was able to be your flower girl. 
That will always be one of my best memories of you. Happy birthday, Grandma. My favorite thing about you is that when you like tickle me, and like just yeah, and you keep on going for my yeah, my claws and like keep on going on for my like ar armpit and just yeah. Happy birthday, Grandma. What's your favorite thing about Grandma? That she tickles me. That she tickles you? Every day she comes. I love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Grandma Julie. I can't wait to see you. Love you. What are you working on? A birthday card? For who? Grandma Julie! <laughs> what's your favorite what's your favorite thing about Grandma Julie? Because she takes because she gives me stuff to like, take apart. She gives you stuff to take apart. Oh, that's so sweet. Were you trying to cut those wire holes? I can show you a trick. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday, Grandma Julie. <laughs> Hey Julie, I am so excited to be able to say happy birthday on this awesome occasion. I got a note from your family and they said, oh Pete, it would mean so much to Julie if you would just take a moment to wish her happy birthday by video. And I'm so glad that they invited me to do so because I have such fond memories of both you and Peter as part of our fellowship at Woodcrest Chapel. You guys were always encouraging. And I think the thing that still touches my heart so deeply is the fact that you guys were faithful encouragers, friends, even when things got complicated. And it was just a beautiful picture to me of the grace of God working through you guys to me and Carol and our family. So it is a great joy for me to be able to say, you keep going, girl. You keep doing what you've always done, reflecting the grace of Jesus through who you are. You do it so well. And so happy birthday. I hope that you feel honored today. I hope that you feel blessed and encouraged and that this next decade is the, your best one yet. <laughs> Love you so much. Happy birthday. You're a fun one, not a witch. You really are a hoot. You get slinky when you drinky. You sometimes cut it toot. Oh, the stench. But I wouldn't throw you in a 39 and a half foot deep pile of poot. You're a suave one, like the French. You're really not a dip. But sometimes when you're skippy, you tend to just go trippy. Oh, the flinch. Now, three words that best describe this are not hooey. They're, and I quote, happy birthday, Jewy. Hi, Julie. I just wanted to wish you a very, very happy 66th birthday. I can't believe it's been that long. I found a poem. And I want to share it with you. It was written anonymously, but it comes from my heart. I'm blessed to call you sister. I always call you friend. You've loved me unconditionally and stood through thick and thin. You've shared my joys and sorrows, my laughter and my tears. 
You've been my inspiration as we've grown up through the years. When we were little children, we laughed and played together. Then growing up, you stood by me through good and stormy weather. There's something God has given us that's more than family. He's placed a love for you, my sister, deep down in the heart of me. So I just want to wish you a very, very special birthday, and I love you very much. Bye. What, Julie? This is the biggest place I could find. to wish you a happy birthday. Thank you for everything you do. Bless you. Take care. Happy birthday. <laughs>